good morning it is the 19th it is mason's birthday he is so excited all right and ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation exodus 19 6 israel is gathered first to christ and second to a place she is gathered to the lord jesus christ his church and his gospel and then to the lands of her inheritance or a con or a or the congregations of the faithful baptism is the ordinance that confirms and evidences our faith and repentance and also admits us formally into the house of israel where we are gathered to the household of faith the process of gathering is not complete however until we progress spiritually to the point where we are worthy to receive the covenances and ordinances covenants and ordinances of the holy temple those divine statutes that prepare men and women to become kings and queens priests and priestesses unto god in the house of israel all other programs and procedures all other labors in the church and kingdom are preparatory to this final stage of gathering okay today is genesis 22 Yes, Genesis 22. And what happens in this chapter is the almost sacrifice of Isaac. And we all know that story, so I'm not going to go into detail about it because we all know what happens. They go to a place, they're going to sacrifice the boy. The Lord says, no, I, I trust you now. They, there's the ram, the end. Um, okay, so. <sighs> the Lord requires a heart and a willing mind. Abraham was commanded to offer up the thing most dear to his heart, his own son. Only through a commitment to sacrifice all that we have, if required to do so, can we man manifest to the Lord that, that our love for him and his divine cause is perfect. God did tempt or prove Abraham by commanding him to sacrifice his only son. Abraham took Isaac and two other young men on the journey to Moriah where he was to offer Isaac as a burnt offering, even a sacrifice to the Lord. On the third day, Abraham and Isaac went to worship. Isaac carried the wood as they journeyed. Isaac asked about the sacrifice and Abraham replied, My son, God will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. Abraham bound Isaac and laid him on the altar, prepare, preparing for the ultimate sacrifice. As he took the knife, the angel forbade him. Um, a ram was provided for the burnt offering. The Lord then promised Abraham, Thy seed shall, be all, shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. Thus we see that during our life here on earth, we must offer all. In our day, the Lord requires a broken heart and a contrite spirit. He requires our will and that is what we can give the giver of all then the Lord can make of us all that we were intended to be exalted sons and daughters of God I don't think I have anything else to add to that um, the Lord will provide the means whereby we can obey Abraham demonstrated complete devotion and obedience to the Lord in his mercy and goodness, provided a ram for the sacrifice. Thus it is for all the Lord's faithful children. The test was in Abraham's willingness, and then, as usual, the Lord provided a way. When prepared, even prepared the way for the sacrifice to be completed, the Lord truly does provide the means to do all things he commands us. We simply must act with love and faith and do as he has commanded. He strengthens us to do all things. He gives us weaknesses so that we will be humble, thus turning to him for strength. He gives us his word, which gives direction. He blesses us with the Holy Ghost, which shows us all things to do. 
Yes, the Lord is there with all things to bless our lives, the plan of happiness, the gospel, the priesthood, and the temple. He is our strength. He is our all. He goes before our face. He is on our right hand and on the left. His spirit is in our heart and his angels round about to bear us up. I don't know if there's anything there that I want to expand on. I don't know. There is the, um, in the podcast, they talk about the, the, um, parallel between Isaac and Christ, you know, um, the offering of the son, the carrying of the wood. Um, I don't know. I guess we could look internally and, and see these, these tests in the Old Testament and wonder how, uh, how we can learn from them, how we can internalize them. What is it? Conference is in about a month. It's March, April. Yeah, we've got about a month and a week. We got about five weeks before conference. That is a crazy thought. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six weeks before conference. Um, and I, I guess one of the, the, the questions we could be asking ourselves in preparation for conference is, what is my all that I'm willing to give to the Lord? What all is he asking from me? He's not asking for my son, but what is he asking from me? And do I have the willing heart to give that with faith, knowing that he will prepare a way for it to be done? All right. I have to go to work. In like a while, the kids woke me up. It's Mason's birthday. We didn't want you to miss it. I won't miss it. Okay. 620 is a little early. But anyways. Okay. That was Genesis 22. And tomorrow is 23. Tomorrow's Sunday. Jeez Louise. My week is all screwed up. All right. Love you all. Talk to you later.